Today is the last day of my little seven day break that I took in between the builds and uh, it wasn't much of a break. I had to spend a lot of days at the shop cleaning because that place was a mess. Um, and I had to help Adrian with his car. So the last day, I don't have work either because it's Sunday. So I decided to, to get out of the city as much as I could and go have some fun. So I loaded up the FJ. I got all the stuff I think I need for adventuring and filming. I got some new camera gear that I really want to try out and practice with. So excuse me if there's a little technical difficulties in this video, but hopefully there won't be. So I'm bringing you guys along. I'm meeting up with Chelsea here sometime soon up here in the mountain and uh and the adventure starts now all right i got chelsea and we decided to get breakfast before we did mountain stuff so we're going to charlie's which is normally the place you go to get drunk on the mountain not to get food but how bad can it be Charlie's was a really good call. There's something I don't really get about Portland anymore is like, so when you're in the city, dive bars should be cheap. When you leave the city, you go places like here, like the mountain, things should be a little bit more expensive, you would expect. Here you come here, the service is better than in Portland, food's better than in Portland, and then it's way cheaper. It's just, Portland's grown out of its own britches. Anyways, up to the mountain. We have made it to the mountain. Oregonians are absolutely crazy. This place is jam packed and it's like, Maybe opening weekend? Yeah. yeah. So we're heading to the bar for cocktails. <laughs> I didn't plan very well because I thought for one thing it would be raining for another thing I thought all the lifts were closed and uh, so I didn't pack my snowboard so no riding today but look how pretty so much snow too, too much snow too much snow too much snow I found the guy with the biggest balls on the entire mountain this guy using an FRS as a mountain car I can barely get through Portland without my traction control. I don't know how he's gonna do it up here. Well, we're down from the lodge of the mountain. We're down at a level where there's no more snow. Chelsea and I know of a very, very remote pokey gym that's way out in the middle of nowhere. And normally you can drive to it, but you definitely can't right now. So it's about a half mile hike. We're up for it. I know nobody plays Pokemon anymore, but when you get the chance to hold down a gym in the off season, might as well go for it, right? So we're out here on this beautiful, serene lake. It's nice and peaceful. And earlier this year, Chelsea and I found out about this, which is a gym right here. Sorry, blue team, you're going down. And now it's a yellow gym. Blue team, we're, uh, we're, we're really sorry for your loss. That was pretty fun. That place we were at is called Trillium Lake. It's up on uh, Mount Hood. So I'm heading down the mountain now. We're heading to an off-road vehicle area. It's called Brown's Camp and it is halfway to the beach. So we figured head down the mountain, do some off-roading on our way to the beach and then go to the beach to stay the night. At least that's a game plan right now. So uh, we're trying, we're racing against sunlight a little bit, but uh, next stop, Brown's Camp. We 
we made it to Brown's camp, but unfortunately at five o'clock it is pitch black outside so we can't show you anything, but we're having some fun out here. There's a lot of trails and uh, I, I already tried driving into a logging area and that, that didn't work, we, got, we didn't make it, but we didn't get stuck. Um, so we're really just trying not to get lost because I don't have a GPS. So that's one thing that I need to note that I need to get for this build. So we're gonna play around here, maybe do a little recap at a gas station or something where it's light out and then go to the beach. Well, I tried really hard while off-roading, but she, she came out spotless. I know we put some mud on there, but we drove through a really, really bad rainstorm on the way here. And uh, we probably lost all our cool marks. So now it's time for dinner at, at the Fern. That's happening. Kelsey, do we need a painted saw? We absolutely do, yes. Yeah. Yes, I like the ducks. You want ducks? We need ducks or cabin? All right, we had dinner, which was really good, and now we made it to the beach finally. We're at the Pelican Pub in Pacific City, one of my favorite spots to be. This is where Jeff and I filmed the launching point for the road trip, actually. And uh, we got our tent spot set up, which we're not tenting, we're just sleeping in the back of the car, but we have it all set up. So now we're on walking mode. It's time to hit the bar. <laughs> Good morning everybody, we're out here on the beach. We got the FJ on the beach and we are just chilling, watching the sunrise before we head into the city going to work. Overall, the FJ was quite a trooper. We learned a lot of stuff about it. We slept in the back of it last night. Very cozy, very nice. Um, learned a lot about it over the last 24 hours and like, I think it's always a good idea to test stuff out before you decide to mod it out because uh, it's best to know what you need. Like, I learned that a GPS is something that I need to throw in there immediately, which is very easy and very fast. Anyways, I had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I am back to the city right now, going to work. After work, I'm starting in on the Mustang and that's kicking off the Mustang build today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment if you like these things and you want to see more. Uh, that's about it. Remember to like and subscribe. Peace.